بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with khair and protect us from shar. And may Allah azza wa jal bless us with tawfiq and coming closer to him and not having bu'd, not being far from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that is one of the, that is part of the intent of the mu'min, of the believer. Is that he's coming, he or she is coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not getting further from Allah Azza wa Jal. Seeking the love and favor of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, Allahumma in yisalika hubbuk, wa hubbu man yuhubbuk, wa hubbu li kulli amalin balaghni hubbuk. Asking for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and not simply loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in fact, we want his love. Because if you have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you've got the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have the most trustworthy handhold, which no one can harm, no one can sever. And one of the attributes of the mu'mineen from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because if it is an attribute of the mu'mineen, of course it's from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. It won't be the sunnah of anyone else. In its origin. And from that sunnah is to have husnul khulq, righteous uh, conduct. And what you find a habitifillah is that a person of good conduct and character and manners, that even their enemies will often have much less to say. They'll still talk, they'll still oppose, but they will have perhaps even a type of respect, some of them, if the person is a person of good akhlaq and adab. So you never go wrong by having good akhlaq wa adab, even though some of our brothers have missed that from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Have them in Sunnah to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How is it that we can call ourselves from Ahlul Sunnah with Jama'ah, but we don't practice, don't understand, don't give importance to such an important part of the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wala Alaihi Wasallam, <clears throat> and that is good akhlaq. You say you're from Ahlul Sunnah, you call yourself Salafi, you call yourself this. Ahla Athar, Ahla Hadith, but your manners are despicable. There are a way you deal with people, whether that be those close to you or those who are in opposition of you, is with treachery and lies and despicable conduct. Hadha laysa min sunnah fi shay. That's nothing from the sunnah of the Prophet. It's nothing in common with the madhab of the Salaf al Salih. Ridwan Allahi alayhim. In the hadith, <clears throat> on Abi Dhar Jundub ibn Janada wa Abi Abdurrahman Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma, قال, اتقي الله حيثما كنت واتبى السيئات الحسنة تمهوها وخالك الناس بخلق حسن This was narrated in Tirmidhi and it was declared as Hassan Sahih. In this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is illustrated in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and illustrated all throughout the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we see <clears throat> that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Fear Allah. Wherever you are, 
Fear Allah wherever you are. And follow up a bad deed with a good deed. Follow up a bad deed with a good deed. And deal with people by good moral conduct. That's your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said that. So, Ahabatifillah, there are immense lessons from this hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. First and foremost, as with so many nasuls from the book and the sunnah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ittaqillah, fear Allah. Ittaqillah haytham akun. Fear Allah <clears throat> wherever you are. <clears throat> fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's first and foremost. But then we have to know, what is fearing Allah? What is this taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Taqwa Allah al-habatifillah, this refers to adhering to the commandments of Allah azza wa jal and avoiding his prohibitions. Hadha taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded with taqwa Allah. And we know that when there's a command in the shara, when there's a command in the shara or in the sharia, we know that this refers to an obligation. It's something that's wajib upon you. Unless there's other nasus to show otherwise. So here we see this as well as so many nasus. The reason we fast. Ya yaladina amanu kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba aladina kutiba ala aladina min qablikum la'alakum tatakun. O you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you similar to the way it was prescribed for those before you. La'alakum tatakun. So that in order that you would Gain taqwa. Fasting is there to gain, gain taqwa. And that's for the mu'mineen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Taqullah. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yulineena amanu wa taqullah haqqa tuqatihi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem. O you who believe, Ya yulineena amanu, Taqullah. Fear Allah. Haqqa. As much as you can, full fear of Allah. Do not die in a step in a state as Muslims. I love you, Muslims. Alhamdulillah. So let, let's die together on Islam. Then the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said. <clears throat> And follow up a bad deed with a good deed. Follow up a bad deed with a good deed. Why is this so relevant for us? Because as the Prophet ﷺ said, and as the aql, the intellect shows, and as our life experience shows us, we all commit sin. All of us commit sin. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, Kadhalik, we all commit sin. The Prophet ﷺ said, All the children of Adam commit sins or commit mistakes and the best of those who commit sins are those who repent. So, therefore, we see that all of us commit sins. But the best of us are those who repent from those sins. Repent, make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the fact that we all commit sins, going back to this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, follow up a bad deed, meaning those sins that you commit, with a good deed. So since the fact that we all fall under this category, all of us need to follow up, We all need to follow up our sins with something good. So that means whenever you commit a sin, for example, say if you just cheated someone, you just lied, you just stole something, you just committed zina, you just watched pornography, you just drank a little bit of wine, you were smoking, hit a couple hits off the pipe, whatever. Come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you don't make tawbah immediately, which you should, at least follow it up with a good deed. That's what our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said. 
Follow it up with a good deed. Perhaps your good deed can supersede the negative deed that you did. However, we know as far as the forgiveness for the major sins, that requires Toba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at least this will forget, get some takhfif on you. It will lighten your burden. It will take off some of those sins. It will be a good deed. <coughs> so wipe out those bad sins with good deeds. What a ni'mah. So Islam gives us so many ways. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala gives us so many ways to come back to him, to, to gain his forgiveness, to gain his mercy, his pleasure, and his favor. Tabarak wa ta'ala. And then, what did the Messenger وسلم, say? Which is actually the crux of what I wanted to talk about. And he said, and address the people with good conduct. Good character, good conduct. I love to talk about this because this is a reminder for me. To not be such a hard head. Or not be hard towards the people. Or not be harsh towards the people. Or to just be better in my conduct. In dealing with people. The Muslims and the non-Muslims. Everyone. Looks like they got their guns out. Oh boy. I hope they're not shooting near my car. Okay. Uh, so. It shows us. That it's imperative. It is imperative that we have good manners, good conduct. Lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this will give us the positive natija. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept our good and forgive our evil, to protect us <clears throat> from the evil of ourselves and the evil of others. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with the bat. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala help us to be better in our conduct, in how we deal with people. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be better believers in Him and grant us with tawfiq and tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bless us and protect our families. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.